What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and welcome back to the channel. Today we got several news topics to talk about so make sure you guys watch until the entire end so that way you guys don't miss out on the latest and greatest in PlayStation news. With that being said, let's kick it off with our first news story. Now yesterday I reported on PlayStation Plus August leak and that being Battlefield 5. It looks like that might not be the case because we have a lot more games showing up on the PlayStation Network for free, indicating if you get PlayStation Plus, you're able to download them. Unfortunately, if you have PlayStation Plus and you go to check out and try to download them, it's still gonna charge you. Now, um, I actually did a lot of research last night and I went through the PlayStation Network store and I found all of these games available for free well, according to the PlayStation Network on the UK side of things, it's showing up as free. And kind of ironic and very strange that all of these games are part of EA's access that's going to be uh, launching in about 12 days. If you guys aren't familiar, EA is actually launching their own subscription-based model to where you pay, what, 10 bucks a month, and you're, you get access to um, a lot of EA's titles, and all of these games are showing up under the PlayStation Network UK side of things as free. And, well, it's not really clear as to why it's showing up under PlayStation Plus for free. Uh, we know that EA Access is going to be launching in 12 days, and they're probably getting ready. This could be some sort of glitch, but my curiosity and my thought is, why PlayStation Plus um, at all? Why is it showing up for PlayStation Plus? Or is there some sort of incentive in getting EA Access to where you get certain perks or certain games for free with PlayStation Plus, I guess we'll have to wait until EA Access launches um, to wait and find out exactly what's going on. Um, I do know that there is talks about a free trial with EA Access. I know a lot of you guys were asking about that. They might have a 10-day free trial to where you can actually try um, EA Access and see if it's your cup of tea and maybe that's the reason why it's showing up for free um, because a lot of these free trials even though they're free they're still umbrellaed under the PlayStation Plus so if you have PlayStation Plus you know look out because you might be getting a free trial um, other than that if any other news breaks about more free games popping up in the PlayStation Network or if any news leaks about uh, the PlayStation Plus August instant game collection I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that next up Let's go ahead and talk about Borderlands 3 because if you're a fan You might already know this information, but they're celebrating togetherness and they're going to be streaming, um, and you can actually go to Borderlands.com at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on July 16th, and they will have uh, several gifts of, to give out to the community. So, very interesting. I'm definitely going to be looking forward to that. I wanted to let you guys know in case you guys wanted to tune in and get some free stuff. I like free stuff. I know you do too. In quick Overwatch news, there's a new Hero 31 that is going to be launching on the game. Well, it's going to be delayed and it's going to come out a little bit later than people were anticipating and expecting. It's been a while since they brought a new character to Overwatch and people were honestly eagerly waiting for it. And I guess they're going to have to wait a little bit longer. It's kind of a bummer. Well, to nobody's surprise, GameStop is very excited for the PlayStation 5 and the fact that they're going to have physical games. A spokesperson came out and said that they believe that it's good for consumers to have options when it comes to physical and digital media. Honestly, there's no surprise there because... Physical games is what keeps GameStop alive. In fact, uh, PlayStation has restricted the amount of PlayStation Network cards that they can actually sell. And also, they can't really sell too many digital games anymore or any at all um, in some cases. So, wanted to let you guys know. GameStop's excited. Cyberpunk 2077 has been in the news a lot lately because the developers are giving little tidbits of information about the game to keep the game hyped up and going. It looks like Cyberpunk 2077 will have uh, radios in their vehicles to where you can select different stations similar to what GTA 5 has. I honestly don't use a radio functionality when it comes to GTA 5. 
Do you guys, um, are you guys going to be using it in Cyberpunk 2077? Let me know in those comments. Another thing about Cyberpunk is they're going to be having reversible um, covers on their physical games, which is pretty cool. One side's going to have females, the other side is going to have a, a male character on it as well. I'm definitely looking forward to Cyberpunk 2077. Do you guys want more information about it whenever it breaks? Let me know. Now, I'm not really all for pre-ordering games, <laughs> but I wanted to let you guys know if you pre-order Call of Duty Modern Warfare, you will be able to play uh, Captain Price in Black Ops 4. Very interesting, uh, considering the fact that usually pre-order bonuses come with the newer games, uh, but I guess they're kind of doing that backwards. Uh, a lot of people are still playing Black Ops 4 and would love to play as Captain Price. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit a like, comment down below, support your boy. If you guys are new, please subscribe with those bell notifications turned on because I'm going to keep you guys up to date on all of the latest and greatest in PlayStation. And if anything breaks, uh, you guys make sure to come back and check the channel. Follow me on all social media platforms. Um, I'm really active on Instagram stories, on Twitter, on Facebook. Uh, so you guys can go and follow me over there. I get a new channel too, Game on Monkey Flop. If you haven't subscribed to that, please go and do so. That channel is actually doing really well compared to what I thought it was going to do. So thank you guys for the support on this channel and everywhere else. I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.